Deligracy here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we are learning how to get started in The Sims 4. So we're going to be moving our sim we've created into her first home. We're not going to use any cheats and we're just going to learn how to play the game and how to get started. If you guys have just clicked on this video and you want to learn how to play The Sims 4 from scratch, I suggest you watch my previous video, which I will link in the description down below. This is a mini series where I'm just showing you how to play The Sims 4. And if you've already watched a lot of my videos, you already know how The Sims 4 works, keep on watching because we're just going to chill out and have fun and essentially start a new Let's Play. It's pretty much what we're doing. So this is Megan Lewis, a sim we've created. She aspires to be fabulously wealthy, so we want her to be successful. Therefore, we've given her the ambitious trait, the romantic trait to help you know, her meet someone special and the creative trait as well, which we'll hopefully earn a little bit of money through. Uh, so this, this is her. She's looking pretty fine. So once you've finished your sim and create a sim, you just gotta go over here to the play button and you'll get this little pop-up where you can press this camera a few times if you want to get a different photograph. Uh, maybe let's go with, uh, I didn't really like any of these poses. I hope they get some new poses in actually. Maybe this one, this one's pretty nice. We can upload to the gallery if we hadn't already. The gallery is where you show your sims, but we've already done that. So let's just save and play. And this is one of my favorite parts of playing the game because if you have the Sims 4 seasons installed, you get to pick which season you play in. So I personally, my favorite is spring because I love doing a little bit of gardening and I love the rain and the storms. I also love fall. So maybe, you know what, let's go spring. Let's do spring, because I usually start with spring. I just like it. And uh, over here is the world map. So depending on how many packs you have installed, if you have any installed, you'll have a few different ones to pick from. So just as a quick recap over what they all are, if you just have the Sims 4 base game, you have the option of Willow Creek or Oasis Springs. You also have the option of Newcrest. Now Newcrest is essentially a blank world with blank lots, so you can kind of make it whatever you want it to be. And Willow Creek and Oasis Springs are a desert and more green world. Over here we have Magnolia Promenade. And Magnolia Promenade came with the Sims 4 Get to Work expansion pack. And it's basically a world where there's lots of shops and stores, so you could work up to creating your own business over there. Winterberg came with Get Together. It is a more European inspired world. San Myshuna came with The Sims 4 City Living. So it's full of apartment buildings if you want that high rise lifestyle. Forgotten Hollow is a spooky world that came with The Sims 4 Vampires game pack. And Bridleton Bay came with The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs, which is a really, really cute pack and a really cute like beachside world. So I think we're gonna click on that and Megan can move here. It'll give you a look of the entire map and all of the green squares show where you can move. So these are blank lots that are available and unoccupied, or we've also got a little starter home here, which we could afford because each Sim family starts with 20,000 simoleons if there's one Sim in it. So we could afford this or we could build our own house if we want to. These houses with icons on them, uh, or these lots with icons on them, they are community lots. So these are the lots we can visit during gameplay. If we want to go to a public pool, if we want to go to a cafe or a bar, we can do that or a vet if we have any sick pets. Now the ones with these little plum bob diamond symbols on them are occupied lots. So these are going to be our neighbors. And these houses that have nothing on them, these are houses we can't afford that are unoccupied. So we can work up to this later on. Let's maybe go with this sorting space um, lot for 2,400 and let's move into there. We could buy it furnished if there was any furniture on it. We could bulldoze it to get rid of the trees, but I think we'll keep our trees. I like the trees. <laughs> I like trees. So we're gonna keep the trees and we're gonna move in. And I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to show you guys a little bit of building. Oh girl, what are you wearing? Because she is feeling a little bit chilly today because it's colder. She's worn her cooler weather outfit, but this is her. The basic controls are pretty easy. Uh, if you have a mouse wheel, I highly suggest you get a mouse with a wheel on it to play The Sims 4. Scroll the wheel in and out to move it in and out. Um, press the wheel in and shuffle the mouse left and right to move it like this to pan. 
And then you can use the W, D, S, and A keys to move around the screen, or your arrow keys if you find that easier. And that's pretty much uh, the controls of the game. You can pretty much play it like that. So this is where we are living. Isn't that pretty? We have the vet nearby just down the road, so that's kind of cute. And we're kind of in a nice, off like a nice community space. I think there's a park over here. So if you press tab, you can actually go into this kind of looking around camera mode. That's what it's called. Or you can get out of it to see the UI bar and move around like normal. So uh, just to explain the UI before we get into building, I'm just going to pause my game right now. So you can pause, you can play, you can go at a fast speed if you want to speed through, or you can also go at an ultra speed, which will speed through at a three times pace, um, which is handy if your sims are at work. When you can't control them, you can kind of speed throughout the day or through activities. Uh, we do have camera options here. So if you want to take screenshots, video capture, you know, you can do all of that. I personally never use this. And we've got the time, the season, the weather. So that's pretty much what's going on right here. I'm going to pause the game because we don't want her to start getting ahead of us while we're not keeping an eye on Megan. <laughs> Basically over here we have our aspiration and you want to try and fulfill your aspiration. So the next thing we need to do is have earned 5,000 simoleons. So as we work on this, we're going to tick it off our list and get to completing our aspiration in total, which will give us an, a reward. And that reward is usually a reward trait. So we did say she had a few traits in creator sim. We'll be able to get a reward trait, which will be really nice. Over here's her career. We currently don't have a job that we can get a job if we want to. We can have skills such as painting, such as fitness, um, gardening, cooking. We'll, we'll gradually get skills as we play the game. Then we have relationships. As we meet Sims, they will appear here and we'll be able to see what kind of relation they have, relationship they have, whether they're romantic, whether they hate each other, or if they're just good friends. And then we have our inventory where we can collect things. We might go fishing and have a few fish in there, you know? Over here we have our Simology, which is where we can see our current traits. We can see our age. We're moving towards an adult and we're currently a young adult. So this is going to gradually get a little bar moving across. We can see our family tree, which, you know, if we had grandparents and kids and generations, we could see that there, but we're just starting out. So we don't have that yet. And we have our stats. So we're going to be able to look at how many times we've woohooed, um, any deaths witnessed, you know, all of that stuff. So that's kind of interesting as well. The needs is probably the thing you're gonna keep an eye on most. Now needs are what keeps your Sims happy. And if all of these go down into the red zone, your Sim could die because it's kind of like looking after a pet. Like if you don't feed the Sim and they go to red, they will die. <laughs> if their bladder goes to red, they will pee themselves. Uh, if their energy goes to red, they will pass out and collapse. And you know, they're, they're just gonna be super unhappy. So you can make your Sims life miserable if you want, but I suggest you keep them pretty happy. So, you know, keep an eye on those, make sure that they're, they're good. If you have get together, you can create clubs over here. And if you have get to work, you can own businesses as well. Uh, and this is also where vet clinics come up if you have the Sims 4 cats and dogs and the Sims 4 dine out. You can also buy a restaurant here. So yeah, that is pretty much the lowdown. We have a calendar if you want to have events or see, you know, when New Year's Eve is, Christmas Day, aka Winterfest. We have a phone where we can plan a social event, volunteer, take a vacation. You know, a lot of the things you'll find on your phone or on your computer. So yes, that is basically it. And then over here, this is where all of our Sims actions are going to be, what we want them to do. So currently she's already decided to browse the web. If we go click over here, she'll actually walk over there and you'll see the little action come up. We can sit on this chair and she'll walk and sit on the chair and obviously it comes over there. To get to your sim, just click on her face and you can zoom in if you like. If you want to follow your uh -huh. sim around, you can right click on her. So wait, if we want to walk over here, I'll right click on her. There we go. And I'll kind of follow her around. All right. Oh, there's also a cat. Maybe we should make friends with the stray cats so we can get a cat. Uh, turtle. 
Let's uh, do a cautious introduction to Turtle over here, because it'd be nice to have a little friend at home, you know, if we're going to be living by ourselves. And uh-oh, these are also moodlets that pop up here. And this lets us know how our sims are going beyond their neat panel. So she is feeling chilled from being cold because she's not wearing her winter clothes. And she can actually freeze if she gets too cold, freeze to death. So we're being a little bit risky, but we're going to build her a house quite soon. Now it looks like this stray is coming up to her. So let's watch them have this little interaction. Agora. Oh, that cat does not like Megan. Okay, I feel like that did not go well. And we can see in the relationship panel over here, they've already got a negative relationship. So that's not that's not great. Let's see if she can fix it. Oh, it looks like she did. And that negative relationship is going down. Okay, let's just offer a friendship. Let's just be nice to the cat. I want to stray. I really do. <laughs> so you can actually pick up stray pets if you have a Sims for cats and dogs. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, and here is an event that is happening. And this is actually quite a nice event. Whenever you move a new sim in, the welcome wagon event starts. And it just it just basically means that sims come to your house, even though we don't have a house. <laughs> They're like, oh, you got a nice place here. And you can go over to them and just invite neighbors in, even though we don't have a house to invite them into um and we can just you know introduce ourselves to them there's all of these different options uh i guess we'll invite you in as well and let's see we can get to know our neighbors this is brand hecking uh, i'm gonna fast forward a little bit there we go and they should pop up in just a second after we introduce ourselves to them Alfonso All right, let's speed ahead and just see them pop up in our relationship panel. Oh, they're on their phones. We have the most antisocial bunch of people ever. <gasps> and look, they brought gourmet fruitcake and it's normal quality. That's good. Okay, so there we go. We've met someone. That is nice. And we can also see that his spouse is Brent, which is nice. They're our neighbor. You can also meet Sims at work, you know, if you want to go out on the town. You can meet them at different places. And thank you so much for the uh, for the fruitcake. That's nice, you guys. All right, so now we've got that started. I think the next thing that we want to do and look into is build mode. So that is over here. There's also the gallery option over here. And if we weren't in the middle of an event, you could go look at the world map. But we can't do that while this event is happening. So let's go into build mode and check it out. All right, so this is our build mode option. Um, you get a grid on the page to help you build and it does become a little bit complicated. So it can be a little bit, I suppose, overwhelming to begin with if you're just starting out. So sometimes if you don't find a lot with a house, it can be a nice thing to either build using pre-made rooms, which are here, or we can go to the gallery and download a house. So I'm thinking we download a starter home and then fix it up a little bit. So let's do that. So I'm just gonna go click on the gallery. This is the gallery. Uh, I was just on my profile, but we can go to the gallery here. And this is where you're gonna find some awesome stuff to put in your game. These are other people's creations. So let's just say we don't really know what we want. All we know is that we want to start a home. So let's just search for that. And we're gonna get a whole heap of starter homes that are hopefully going to be in our, in our budget. So, ooh, that's a cool one. Let's try and spend only a little bit of money. So this is kind of cool. Starter home, three beds, two bath. That's a massive starter home, but that's pretty good. It comes in at 18,000 simoleons. We've got 17,590, so we can't actually afford that one. Hmm, this one is pretty cute. I really like this, and it's one that we could work on. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with this. So this is by someone called Alpha v Vanilla. And it's only 9,000 simoleons. Love this. And we can definitely renovate it. So I'm just saving it to the gallery, uh, not to the gallery, to my collection. And then we can also favorite the lot if we want to and say, we want to leave a comment. Oh, capitals. Great build. There we go. So we can just leave that person a nice little message. And now we're going to place the lot. We want to place it furnished. Oh, actually got rid of our trees, but that's okay. Look at our little house, you guys. Isn't that cute? 
I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, oh, the roof's a little bit awkward at the back, but that's okay. We can renovate over time. And now you're probably thinking, well, I can't see in the house. How do I see in the house? So we can do two things. We can go down a floor. Uh, so if you have up to five stories, you can go up and down the levels. We can also change how we view the walls. So this is going to either get rid of all the walls, half walls or full walls. So we can do that. But there's also shortcuts on the keyboard, which is the page up and page down to move up and down. And the home and end key is going to be the shortcut for those in case you wanna, if you wanna do that. So this is really nice. One issue that I have is that there's not a lot of lighting in here. So let's get some lights in. Um, these ones are okay, but they just, they don't do as well in terms of lighting up the place. So over here, there's kind of two, there's two, parts of build mode. So you've got the build mode where you have your walls, your doors, your windows. You you pretty much just click on whatever part you want to build. If you want trees, click on trees. If you want a roof, click on the roof. You know, it's pretty straightforward. If you want furniture, you can either find furniture by objects in the room or by room rather. So you click on the room and what's in the room, or you can just do objects by function, which means you can go to decorations, lighting, plumbing, surfaces. So you can click on whichever one you like. We want to find lights. So I'm going to go to this and then I'm going to go to lighting and we've got different categories of lights. We want ceiling lights. And I know that this light right here, the subtle saucer light is really good. Um, it is a bit expensive though. So we just got to watch it. See how much brighter this, this is. And if I use the bracket key, I can actually make these lights a little bit smaller, which makes them not as like in your face, which I prefer. So let's just make those a little bit smaller. Hmm. I do have an issue with this bed. This bed is very, like, I don't like that the timber doesn't go with the timber floor. So there's a few other options. I can actually go to design tool up here and click on the bed and pick some different swatches. So that's another thing if we want it to look a little bit better. But maybe I'm thinking, you know what? I don't really like any of these. Like none of these look good to me. Um, maybe I can either get a different bed. I know this is the cheapest bed though, so maybe I'll keep that bed, but it means I want to change the timber flooring. So I'm going to go over to here to flooring where I can pick a different flooring. I can hover over it and see how much it is. Ah, that's better. Let's brighten this up a little bit, but now the walls don't go. So I'm going to go over here to the wallpaper option. I'm going to think about what kind of wall I want to have in here. Maybe just like a nice soft pastel -y color to kind of go with the bedspread. Uh, that kind of works. Hmm. If we hold the shift key, it's going to fill the whole room with wallpaper. If we hold the alt key, it'll only cover one wall with the wallpaper. I think we should maybe go a grayish color. Let's see. Do we have a gray here? There we go. Let's maybe shift click that one. Hmm. It is looking a little dull. That is too bright. But sometimes it just takes a little while to find exactly what you want. I feel like the pinky color works. So we're gonna go with that. And I wouldn't mind a feature wall over here. So maybe let's go for a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of that. It's so pink though, my goodness me. Maybe we'll just go like that. Okay, it's not too bad. I also uh, am going to change the curtains. The shortcuts um, for these tools can be seen when you hover over them. So the shortcut for the design tool is R. And we still have a fair bit of money. I don't think we're going to need this. So I'm actually going to go to my sledgehammer tool and delete that because we're going to focus on our creativity as opposed to focusing on our logic skill, which is what we'd gain if we were using um, that chess table. So maybe let's go into our furniture again and look for activities and skills because we know she's creative. We know that she's probably going to be good with earning money that way. We could become a writer and write books. Hmm. Or we could become a painter maybe to make money. I think a painter could be good. So let's go and get an easel. That's an easy thing that Asim will be able to work on and hopefully make money with. There we go. Okay, so we've got that. Now let's get... Oh, but then again, I kind of like the idea of being an author because then I could show you guys how to write books. And books are awesome because you can make a lot of money. So maybe we'll do that. You know what? Let, let's go for it. Let's go for it. 
Uh, I think, I mean, we could afford to get a decent desk because we do have a bit of money here. But I don't think we need it. I think we can start small. So let's just get this. Hmm. This bedroom is so pink. <laughs> I think the easiest way to sort this is to go to the study option over here. So let's get a computer to write on. <gasps> Ooh, this is expensive. I mean, we can afford a more expensive computer because we haven't spent money on other things. So let's go with that. And we're going to need a nice comfy chair to sit on. It'd be nice to break up the colors a little bit, introduce a little bit of blue in here. I'm almost thinking that we have so much in so much of the pink color that we should get like another color in here as well. Maybe we'll just do a little bit of gray, you know? Let's hold that alt key and add some gray onto all of the walls. There we go. Very nice, very nice. So we have essentially a pink bedroom and like a gray rest of the house, which at the moment looks a little sad, but we'll get there, we'll get there. Okay, so we've got that. It'd be nice to get some bedside tables. So let's go to our bedroom get some cheaper bedside tables. These ones are from City Living and they're only 45 simoleons. Bargain, love that. And we needed some bed, uh, some bedside lights. I'm just gonna go to here, grab the lights. Okay, ooh, I do like this little lily thing. That's kind of cool. We'll keep it on the cheaper side. I'm so stoked with our house though, because it does mean we have a fair bit of money to work with. There isn't a whole heap of windows though, which, oh my gosh, there's already a desk and computer here. I am actually such a noob. I can't believe I didn't even see that. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, that was silly, silly. Probably the whole time you guys were like, Deli, 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 there's a computer, there's a computer. <laughs> well, let's add an extra window over here because we do have the money to do that. Hmm, let's just put one there, cute. Maybe we can add one to the bathroom as well. Yeah, that's nice. You know, just add a little bit of extra light in. Bathroom's looking okay, the computer's looking okay. We could probably fit in a nice little dining table. I would actually quite like that. And it's a cute little studio house. So, where's the dining table? Over here. Let's just get this like a little basic white one. Let's get some chairs. These are kind of kind of funky little chairs. Let's just go like that. We'll mismatch them, you know. Why not add a little bit of green? Oh, do we want to do that? Do we want to do that? Do we want to do that? Oh, do we want to do that? Oh my gosh, so many choices. Let's just keep it silver. I totally went back on what I was saying. The only thing that's kind of missing from this house is a little bit of decor. It's looking pretty like, you know, it's looking a little sad right now. So let's go into our objects by function decorations right here. We're gonna actually get some curtains to put over here. Maybe we can just like drape a nice curtain just like that. I did like that cone, but I feel like we can have more fun with it. <gasps> oh no, the cones are gonna be too busy for the bed. Change my mind, let's just get a plain one. One thing, if you guys are only just watching my videos right now, I change my mind a lot, <laughs> a lot, and it can be annoying, but I swear in the end, we usually get to something that looks half decent. There we go, cute, cute, cute. Get a plant, hmm. <gasps> Love this plant. This plant's awesome. Ooh, and we're struggling to fit it in here. So this is a little bit more advanced, but there are cheats. And you can Google how to use the cheats. Otherwise I'll quickly explain. It's Control Shift C to get up a cheat box. And I'm going to be using a cheat called the Move Objects On Cheat. Which is basically me just typing in bb.moveobjectson. And that basically means that we can now intersect objects, uh, which is handy for furnishing especially if you don't have a lot of room. So there we go, let's just pop that in. And there we go, you guys, we have a basic house. This is cute. And in the next part of this mini series, we'll actually start some gameplay and we'll get a job and do all of that. So I hope you enjoyed this little build and buy mode introduction and moving in, getting started. By all means, do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on notifications if you'd like to be notified of the next how to play the sims 4 video or any other videos i hope you're having a lovely morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world i'll speak to you soon